We're now going to look at how a point of sales terminal works, which is a type of real time transaction processing system. So basically, with a point of sales terminal, it's basically those computers that sit at the front of stores and that when you go up to and you scan in your products when you want to make a sale, it adds up your totals and decreases it from the store's inventory. Now, although there's large department stores like Big W's and Coles and then there's small corner shops, basically all point of sales terminals work in a similar fashion. It all revolves around the store purchasing products from a supplier and selling the products to customers. Okay, and this process being automated by the system. Some key features of the point of sales terminal are that basically when the inventory gets below a certain point for a certain product, a purchase order is created and sent to the supplier who then returns a delivery docket. The retailer then pays an invoice to the supplier for these actual products. The retailers then send, um, sell the actual products to customers who receive a docket at the end of the sale. So firstly, let's look at this as a context diagram. Basically, we've got our point of sales terminal. Remember with context diagrams, one big circle to represent the whole information system. We now have our external entities. So the first one itself is the customer who pays via cash or card and receives a receipt of the transaction. When they are doing the transaction, the products are getting scanned. And the product data, such as the price, how much is on inventory stock, as well as stuff like is the product on sale, is retrieved via the barcode. When the product is low, we need to order new products from the supplier. Okay, we send them our purchase order and then they invoice us the cost. Okay, so that is a context diagram representing a point of sales terminal. We'll now look at it in the form of a data flow diagram. Once again, we start off with our customer completing their sale. The products get scanned via their barcode and the customer has it all go through the database. Okay, all the quantities are reduced, all the prices are added together and the, uh, the customer pays for it and receives a receipt of the transaction. If any of the products go below a certain quota during this actual transaction, we then need to order new products. So basically, we have to first generate our purchase order by getting our supplier details up. This then is sent to the actual supplier. Okay, the supplier looks at the order and then sends an invoice back to the actual store who processed the invoice. They will approve the invoice and then pay the supplier. Financial data is retrieved from the store database. Okay, once the supplier gets its money, they approve it and the confirmation is sent into the database. Okay, delivery docket can be seen and then they send the delivery which then goes into the database as the product quantity, okay, which all gets increased because the products have been sent to the store. So these last few points can all be done in different orders. Sometimes the supplier will just send the products and get the pay later. So it can happen in a few different ways depending on how the scenario happens. But this is just an overview of how a point of sales terminal automates tasks and conducts its activities.